So Right to Play is an organization working all around the world. Uh, we're working in over 20 countries, and we just uh, empower and educate children in the most disadvantaged areas of the world. And we have just passed one million children every week in our program. So we're very proud of that. But we're more proud that we call Toronto our home. And this is our base, and this is where we belong. And that's why this announcement makes it every, ever so more important. In the two and a half years we've worked with the First Nation communities, uh, we've gained so much knowledge and hold an extraordinary level of respect uh, for the culture, the talent, and the spirit that live within these communities. Uh, the challenges they face are, I think, well documented, um, but not well known by no, most non-Aboriginal people. Personally, I had no idea, even lived here for over 10 years. But, we had, but what we see when we work there now is the talent, the spirit, and the enthusiasm, the growth, what we witness on the video. Uh, it's like it all lies within the people, and that's what Right to Play is trying to bring up. We're delighted to have the opportunity to not only work as partners, but also to build bridges and foster understanding with Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people across Canada, and particularly here in Ontario. This community investment of $1 million will make MLSE the program's largest single private donor, but not only strengthen our core programming, but significantly increase place reach impacting the lives of kids who need it the most. Since our program began, thousands of children and youth have participated with us. And we have community members active, we have elders, we have large number of people kind of rallied around our program. But I'd like to bring out one example. It's youth like Dustin Brown on Wapakika, his First Nation. Dustin joined the play program as an after-school program leader and, and as a summer sun uh, counselor, quickly become a role model in his community. He, he started not being a leader in his community, but just then stepped up and with his dedication to improving the lives of others, evident does, does enjoying right to play in a youth leadership symposium in 2012, an opportunity to hone his leadership skills and our chance to build a confidence in an exemplary volunteer. In September 2012, he was hired as a new community mentor in Wukapika First Nation, a true testament to the program, play program's successful models, enhancing and reinforcing the talent that lies within the Aboriginal youth and building their confidence to become leaders in their own communities. With over 1,000 kids participating in the weekly activities and over 5,000 community members, elders and parents have participated in activities so far, Dustin is just one example of all those thousands who been is part of our program. This is a testament to the fact that through sustainable programming, sport continues to foster strong community connections and to build positive relations which span multiple generations. And this is the vision we'll share with the MLSE Foundation. Through play, we witness new role models ready to inspire and to lead the next generation, increased youth engagement with band councils and elders, fostering a stronger sense of community and pride, ownership of challenges, and a newfound confidence to overcome them. In each of our communities, the band council hires a local consumer mentor trained by us in Right to Play. These mentors are truly the ones leading the change in their own communities. Their support and dedication brings communities together, create the network of support of youth, and build capacity of tomorrow leaders. With this new investment, we're going to get to 45 First Nation communities reserves uh, this year. And we will add, as, as well, 10 urban centers in the, in the cities where Aboriginals are coming together. 